everybody. Welcome to the Able Gardener. And uh, that's kind of neat to say because it's one of the, uh, oh, it's probably the first time I've ever been able to welcome you to my garden using my new name. So kind of neat, kind of exciting. I don't know. I like it. <laughs> well, what I'm doing today is making worm towers or worm slash compost towers. And uh, I ran out of five gallon buckets. So I I had to run to town real quick and I picked up a couple more just from Home Depot. And uh, it's getting warm out here. Get on some shade. Anyway, I had run to Home Depot to get a couple of more five gallon buckets for my worm towers uh, because I had looked into buying a large PVC pipe for my worm towers. Now, if you don't know what a worm tower is, it's just a long piece of PVC pipe, anywhere from six to eight inches around, and you drill holes all the way down the bottom of it. You put it in your garden, and then you just start adding, oh, anything you would put in a compost, anywhere from coffee grounds to uh, crushed eggshells, just different things like that. The worms start coming in through the holes you've drilled, and they eat everything in the compost, they stay in the compost, but then they'll go back out through the holes and then they'll do their business or they'll poop in your garden and then they go back in and start eating more and they just travel back and forth in and out through the worm tower. Well, I looked at the PVC pipe and the PVC pipe that I found anyway at Home Depot and Lowe's uh, was about $13 for a two to three foot section. Uh, so buying five gallon buckets was a whole lot cheaper for me to to make these towers Now this particular one I've had in this bed for Probably seven to eight months. I had put it in the ground last fall And I've just been adding things to it. You can tell it's up to the top because I added oh coffee grounds and some eggshells and uh, some different nitrogen compounds like just cleaning up from the garden. I added that yesterday So it really doesn't need any more. There's plenty in here for the worms to start composting But I'll get done with this bucket and I'll show you how a worm tower works or how I'm putting them in my garden beds I started this one last fall and it's been in here and it's been working It's been working great that I know of it's full of worms they're eating all the compost down. So I'll fill it up probably, oh, not quite to the top. And I'll let it work down to about ground level. And my ground has gone down with the rains. So this particular worm tower is sticking out of the ground quite a ways. And I will be filling this guard box up with a little bit more soil. But back to the composting part of it, I'll fill it up just about, oh, two or three inches from the top and then just let the worms start taking over and uh, composting what's in there and coming out and like I said, pooping in my garden bed and just adding to the fertility of my soil. Worm castings add so much to your soil. Adding nutrients to it to, as they go in and out through the holes and they go through your soil, they add to the tilt of your soil, which is just a fancy word for saying fluffiness. You know, it makes your ground fluffy. And then you want to make sure that uh, after you've added your oh, clippings or things from out of the kitchen that you put a cover over the top of it with a little bit of weight and that way it'll keep the oh, different animals that come in and out of your yard anywhere from digging in your garden bed to digging in your worm tower. <clears throat> well you guys this is a bed that I'm going to put my next worm tower. And I'm going to try and get at least one in every bed, and I've got, I believe, eight beds, so I'm going to need eight five-gallon buckets. And I believe that I've got that many right now. Now, I'm digging down in my garden box all the way until I hit my, oh, yucky clay soil. And then, after I hit the clay soil, what I'll do is throw in a couple handfuls of compost or something to get the worms to come in. Plus it'll give that little buffer between the clay and the bucket. The worms can come through that and start coming through the holes that are in the bottom of the bucket. Now what I'm using to put the holes in the bucket is just a half inch waffle bit. And you know that if you've gone through any plastic with a waffle bit or other bits besides, uh, it'll leave burrs on the plastic. 
And, you know, I would just leave it up to you if you're going to make something like this, uh, whether you want to take a sander or a little piece of sandpaper and sand the holes off and get the burrs off. If you think that that's going to deter your worms from coming in the holes, now those burrs on that one almost covered up the complete hole. So I would just go around your bucket and just check for burrs that would just keep your worms from coming in. Maybe even go through the hole another time and then turn your drill around and kind of take those burrs off. So that's a nice big hole for the worms to get in. And then you just go around your bucket and check the holes. Just making sure that worms can come in because that's what you're putting it in there for. I mean, definitely you want your worms to come into the bucket. And they will. They'll get in through the holes. If they know that something is in the bucket for them to eat, they're going to go in there. But you want to make it as easy as possible for them. I mean, I wouldn't want to go to a restaurant and, you know, have the door locked and not be able to get in. <laughs> okay, well, I've reached the clay. Uh, it's nice, solid clay, nice, <laughs> just wonderful hard pan clay. And what I'm going to do is just put a little bit of composted horse manure in the bottom. And that will definitely be drawing the worms. Now, another thing that I have in here besides the composted horse manure is just a little bit of shredded paper. Um, anything to just make it a little bit fluffy on the bottom of the bucket, make sure that those worms start coming in. So just get that leveled out. And now if you can't find a big PVC pipe, you know, six inch PVC pipe to make your worm tower out of, and you are going to use five gallon buckets, uh, they all come with handles, of course, and you can take the handles off if you want to. And definitely, this is going to be staying in the ground for a long time, and I want to take the handles off. So taking the handles off is just really easy. All it is inside is just the wire goes in, and it's just a little turn. So it's pretty easy to take the handle out. <clears throat> so that's all you have on the end of your handle is just a little, a little turn in the wire, and it comes right out. Stick that down onto the composted portion anymore. So I've got my bucket in there, nice and tight. I'm just going to backfill it with what I took out. Well, now that I have my bucket in the ground and I've got it backfilled, I can start adding to it. And I can see just right off I have anywhere from 10 to 12 inches of space that I can just put anything in here, any kind of composting material. And I don't have to add worms to this. I know there are worms in my bed, and as soon as they know that there's something in here to eat, they're going to start migrating to this bucket. Well, the first thing that I'm going to put in there is a little bit more uh, composted horse manure and just different things that I had in my compost bin. So it's got leaves, it's got some, oh, grass clippings, shredded newspaper, and I'm going to add that. And that took up just about an inch or two in the bottom. But it'll be a good base for those worms to come in. Well, just like any other regular compost, you're going to want to add a little bit of water. And I just add a little bit as I go, just to moisten it down. Now, my compost was already moist, but the newspaper that in there, it was a little bit dry. So I'm going to moisten that up and take my shovel, because I don't have a spade here right now, and just mix it around a little bit. Now I brought out some coffee grounds from the kitchen and I'm going to add those and I'll just go ahead and rip up the coffee filter. Just makes it a little bit easier, uh, smaller for the worms to start eating on. Got some eggshells from the kitchen also and I'll just crumple those up. Oh, just as small as I can get them with my hand. Worms are really going to like those. I brought out a little bit more shredded newspaper. A little bit more water. 
and this is my next uh, worm tower and I had just started adding things to it already without drilling the holes in it yet so uh, it's just some ripped up paper some compost oh leaves from the bok choy and from the lettuce and I'm gonna go ahead and throw that in there so I can get this one going early Now I'm definitely not going to be shoving my sh shovel in there when the worms are in there because I just I don't want to chop them up. But for right now there aren't any worms in here yet. Now the other nice thing about having a worm tower or some kind of just compost in the middle of your bed is I could be out here working and uh, just be cleaning up say my kale or my uh, cabbage, my bok choy, anything like that. And if I come across something that has fallen off or needs to be trimmed, I can just rip it up, toss it in there, and it's just like a little garbage pail on hand. You just don't want to put anything in there that you wouldn't put in a compost. So this is some good nitrogen to put in here, some good greens and uh, the worms are just going to love this also. Now, all of the soil that is in this bed came from my compost pile. Um, I had had a big compost pile going, and when I made the bed, I filled it completely up with compost, and I didn't even realize I had that much. So, uh, if I take a handful of this and toss it in here, it's just something that came from the compost pile. Well, now that I've got my bucket all done, and it's, uh, it's partially filled, maybe not quite half filled with uh, things for the worms to start working on. But what I'm going to do is uh, go get to work on another worm tower for another one of my garden beds. But uh, I just wanted to talk to you about covering it up. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, you want to cover it up so that animals don't get into it and start just digging around and, well, eating what you've got or, you know, digging around in your garden. You want to keep them out. Now you can buy five gallon bucket lids at the store, but they are, uh, I don't know, $1.29 or something. I know that's not much, so you can buy a lid for every bucket that you buy. But you can use pot saucers, like I had on my other one. If you have any saucers laying around that are that big, you can turn it upside down, put it on the top. And the other thing I would mention is to just put something on top, you know, like a little brick, half brick, little rock, something like that. Uh, something that's heavy enough that animals aren't going to be able to push the top off. So I'm going to add a little bit more water just to make that nice and moist for the worms. And I'm going to put the top on and make sure that my stakes are back in here to keep the cat out. And then I'm going to go get started on another bucket. So if you have any questions or comments or you want to say hi, anything like that, uh, just put a comment down below. I'd be really happy to hear from you. And you guys, thanks so much for coming by today. Thanks for watching the video. And uh, I'm going to get back to another snack. <laughs> and I'll talk to you later. So bye-bye, you guys. I'll talk to you later.